However, we are now joined by some phenomenal women. It is Gelden Wednesday. We celebrate ladies the entirety of the day. If you head over to the website www.vibesradio.co.ke, you will be able to see live and direct what is going down. We have their gorgeous faces right there. But I don't like saying that. I think any time we talk about a lady, somehow it says gorgeous. But when it's a man, it's not gorgeous. Let's say something different. Intelligent, <laughs> strong, f- funny, amazing women that are right here. Let me give you the opportunity to introduce yourselves. Samantha and Natalie, you're up first. Hello. Hello. Hey. <laughs> Hello. Welcome. welcome. I'm welcome. Samantha and, and this is Natalie. And and who are you? And we're from and you're from Mama Rock. Mama Rock. Yeah, so we run a burger restaurant in Weapons in Kilimani. The best burgers in Nairobi. What's special about your burgers, ladies? They have, basically every burger uh, has an African theme. So each burger is inspired by the flavours of, of Africa. Oh, nice. I like that. You have a Nigel one. We do. We have several, actually. <laughs> <laughs> we and... have Nigerian roots, so... I love it. And Evelyn, welcome, welcome. Please introduce yourself to the Vibes Nation. Hello, everyone. Hello. <laughs> yeah, I'm Evelyn. I'm Evelyn Olo, founder of Many Active Up, changing the way we access fitness and wellness in Africa. I love that. I love that. So Vibes Nation, the reason why we have these phenomenal women on with us today is because, as you know, we have the COVID crisis, which has just taken over globally. But we've spoken about it a couple of times on the show before, that if you look at companies, if you look at countries that are female led, you tend to find them doing better. If you look at the countries like Finland, like New Zealand, that have female leadership, their reaction to COVID-19 seemed to be much faster than other countries and the question is what is it about being a woman what is it about being a lady at the helm that changes things so Samanat you run your burger restaurants what would you say is particular about your style how first and foremost how did you react to COVID-19 when the news came out what did you do at first like all business owners I think we panicked Um, and then we just went directly into strategy mode So we had to sit down and really think about what can we do to keep things going and kicking over. Yeah, because obviously most of our customers come through through the doors rather than um, online. But with this COVID-19, we've obviously had to change completely and drive most of our business through our online sales. And that, you know, online, all these delivery partners, working with them takes a big chunk of our business. Obviously, it's really, really concerned us that um, our our sales, first of all, would be a lot lower and that, you know, lots of commissions would be taken from, from the money that we do receive. I can imagine. And when explaining to staff, because I think often where businesses fail, and this is why I think maybe female run businesses do well is because of communication style. When explaining to staff the realities of the economics. I'm sure there had to be staff that had less hours than they were used to. I'm sure staff had to take pay cuts that they weren't used to. When explaining the realities of the economics, do you think that really helped in explaining with your staff the direction the business was going and therefore some of the um, some of the decisions that you had to make? I mean, we've always tried to be super transparent when it comes to our financial provisions. Yeah. So I think that a lot of our staff understood and uh, we try to be as human about it as possible. Um, and obviously it's not a nice situation for anyone, but I suppose the approach we, we, we really took with it was to not come from a, a logical point of view, but one where we understood their position. And um, I suppose we just really kind of tapped into, um, you know, the emotions. Their psychology. That obviously they're also gonna panic as well. Yeah. So it's kind of appeasing them, explaining to them at every step. So communication was so important. Yeah, communication at all times, and yeah, just being, um, just explaining things, you know, quite quickly. Um, as things change very, very quickly, and they, our staff have been great because they've been really adaptable and flexible, um, and you know, understanding when we explain things to them and understanding that changes needed to be made very quickly. But Um, I think, I mean, you're you're celebrating the staff and I think it's brilliant to celebrate the staff. It's important. But I definitely think a lot of the reaction is to do with 
um, how it's explained. You know when they say a company rots from the head, right? So if you're explaining yeah. stuff, if you're understanding the emotional component of your staff, if you're understanding yeah. the psychological component of your staff, and you're explaining things in a manner that takes all of those things yeah. into consideration and putting your own fears aside, I think yeah. that will have necessarily an impact on how your staff react. Let's bring Evelyn into this conversation a little bit. Evelyn, how has the COVID epidemic affected your business, would you say? <laughs> JK, um, me and you are almost in a similar business. And uh, as you know, right now, there's no gatherings happening, which means no gyms, no... Um, fitness activities outside for groups um and so for us that meant that we strategizing really um so that we see oh we seem to have lost evelyn a little bit hello evelyn sorry can you just say that last bit again your neck kind of cut out Ah uh, no, sorry. No, so I'm saying. Um, so we've had to re retool be, uh, properly and um, uh, be able to deliver our services online. So what we are doing at the moment, we are using Zoom. For some, we're using um, Google Hangouts. Uh, we're also using Webex for some clients who need uh, better security. As you know, Zoom has had some uh, privacy. Um, Reach in the past and so we're using different tools right now to deliver our services to our clients online uh, but uh, in a couple of weeks our apps will be out and we'll be able to stream our services live to Awesome let me ask you so when you first heard Evelyn about this COVID-19 I've heard Samantha and Natalie explain first reaction ah panic how long did it take you to get from panic to understanding that also the people that work with you are probably quite panicked as well and your responsibility should you choose to see it like that as a leader is to try and uh, so, sorry that, uh, yeah. we seem to be having quite a few uh, technical issues with Evelyn over there let's go back to you Samantha and Natalie so We've spoken about female leadership. Do you think that yeah. the ability to be able to communicate, the ability to be able to tap into your staff's emotions is something that you're able to maybe be in a better position to do because those are the natural skill sets of women in the main anyway? Or would you just say, you know what, that's good leadership and that should be across the board at this point, full stop? No, I think, I like what you said before, I think a lot of the time, yes, we might think from the head, but our communication comes from the heart. Definitely. And I think as a very female attribute, mm -hmm. um, we're kind of nurturing and, but at the same time, obviously running a business, so it's about marrying the two. And I think that a lot of the time, women might be stronger in that respect. Yeah. Yeah. And what opportunities have you seen? Because I think, I, I love what you're saying about starting from the heart. And I think then when you think from the heart, it stops becoming a commercial conversation and it starts being, I have a hundred members of staff. I don't want them not to work. So how do I look outside of the box at different opportunities and try and make money out of those opportunities so I can maintain as many staff yeah. members as possible? Because we had this conversation on the show yesterday, actually, that something that's very un-African and seems to be becoming more yeah. and more popular on this continent is consumerism, consumerism, capitalism, capitalism, to the extent that your staff aren't important. All it is, is how do we get yeah. the largest amount of turnover as possible? Exactly. And, and this has been a real battle for us in our minds because if we were really 100% um, we have to balance the concern of even should our staff be coming to work and if they're coming to work are they safe so we really took it took that message to heart and we ensured that our staff we have to pay more money to be transporting them to work so that they're able to to do their jobs and so everybody can be kept in employment um we started lots of, of lots of things like uh, an online shop we got set up within 24 hours um we've been doing a lot more social media activities um i've seen you guys when, on your tiktok uh, hustle yes we were, in, we were <laughs> loving tiktok we've been doing hard on, on tiktok because we need to think about how can we put and show that way yeah because we can't rely on that one for customers exactly. but yeah tiktok has been really going hard exactly. instagram yeah our own um web product people can order directly yeah we expanded to karen um that didn't quite work out at the time but we're planning to do that on a weekend basis every weekend we're going to be doing pop-ups in karen um, so we've had to very quickly create opportunities to bring in that money yeah. um, to keep the 
I mean, is keep people in employment. And that is our number one concern, actually. It's not even about keeping one rocks alive for us. Yeah. It's more about keeping one rocks alive for our, for our staff. Yeah. And I love yeah, what you're saying. And I'll, I'll bring you into the conversation here, Evelyn, because I think that if you think from the heart, the ability to be able to expand during this period of time, like you said, you've expanded to Karen, is maybe something that long term will be commercially viable for you guys as well. But the decision was made first and foremost to keep as many people in employment as well. So the idea that thinking, having a business where you think first and foremost from emotions doesn't necessarily mean that the outcome is that you lose money in the long run actually often it's the outcome is in the long run because your staff are appreciative you have better productivity you take more risks because you're not thinking just about yourself you're thinking about your staff base you're able to expand because you're thinking from a broader perspective not just how much money can we bring in right now and and i think yeah like you said some of those things are strong female attributes evelyn what opportunities would you say that you've seen come out as a result of this crisis well, you'll be surprised um, how much opportunity we've seen um, arising from this crisis because, I mean, uh, like just like you said before, you didn't think about expanding to other areas where you do not have physical footprints in them. So then, you know, that would really curtail your growth. But now um, with COVID, we've been forced to, you know, embrace the online mode of delivery. And with that, you know, the, the, the scope of where you can reach is just limited to what you can do, really. So I think it's an open opportunity for us to expand in areas, in, physical, in regional areas where we didn't think we would be before. For example, we've been able to have um, group classes for corporates you know, in Mombasa, in Kisumu, you know, some in uh, Rwanda. We wouldn't have had that, you know, done that before in that mm. scale because, you know, we just we wouldn't be able to, you know, send trainers all, th you know, through to those places sure. just like that but now with online we just have to book and we're able to have these sessions it's amazing actually absolutely amazing today we like to celebrate all of you samantha natalie evelyn thank you so much for joining our boss ladies conversation where we're yes. celebrating yes. the girl <laughs> them we're trying we do and, we, uh, we try i think my internet is now better Oh, apparently not. I think um, we try and celebrate women all day, every day, but we like to pay particular interest for women on Gaudem Wednesday. So thank you for what you're all doing. You're brilliant. We love you. And keep it vibes, man. Thank you very much. Thank you. Those were the sounds of Samantha, Natalie and Evelyn right there amazing amazing women and I think some of the things that we've spoken about on the conversation today is so true and if you're tuned in today first of all thank you for giving us your ears all is not lost whenever you see crisis you see opportunity so if there's one lesson that I'd like you to leave with today call me radical but I'm just gonna say it today in crisis think like a woman Vibes Radio, we rule the nation in this generation.